Yeah, this is another time to encounter God through His Word. So as you're about to listen to this message, I encourage you, don't be distracted. Just pay attention, and I know that God is going to visit you and meet you at the point of your need. So without wasting much of our time, let's get into the message of today. God bless you. Rain. Rain. The first thing that happened in Genesis chapter 2 was that the earth could not produce because there was no rain and God caused dew to rest upon the land. The moment that happened, fruitfulness began. That song you sang about another measure, God had it all and he will answer that prayer. Did you hear what I said? My God had it and he will answer that prayer. There are some of you that by Sunday when you mount a pulpit in your church, you will say, what is this? What happened? When did Saul become one of the prophets? What suddenly happened? What changed? And for some of you, there is a restoration of dimensions that were once opened. Dimensions of visions. Dimensions of prayer. You used to see things before they happened. You did not know whether you were a prophet or just a serious believer. But something happened to you. And that door became closed in the spirit. Now is the time that that door be opened again. Tonight, I plead with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do not be a spectator. Let there be a holy anger in your spirit. I know you came as groups. Some of you came as a couple. Some of you came as, you know, fellowships. But forget about who you came with. This is between you. What is happening to you is in the similitude of Jacob encountering the God of the Bible. And he said, I will not let you go unless I will not let you go. This name, Ichabod, that I've carried for many years, a name that represents shame and reproach, called but in shame, that that name will have to be changed tonight. You can insist by faith. Hallelujah. And there are some of us, you have done the best you know to do. The truth is that your current spiritual state cannot host what God is bringing into your life. Did the Bible not say you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin? You will be willing to replace that wine skin and then new wine is put in new wine skin. Some of you have been carrying an old wine skin. Like Moses, it's time to take off your shoes. That old experience about God for where thou standest is holy ground. God is about to reveal himself to you in a dimension you probably have not seen. Hallelujah. You believe this? I truly believe that in the course of this program, many of you will be open to visionary encounters. That while you are in this place, that as the meeting is happening, suddenly your eyes are open. There are angels. So it's not a song. They are moving around. Angels. This used to happen in the meetings of the patriarchs that whilst they are preaching, somebody in the crowd who is just lost seated, all of a sudden, like Ezekiel who sat by the bank of the river and all of a sudden the visions of heaven were opened unto him, even though he was a captive in a strange land. Exalted high above the worship of the people of the earth. I see the Lord I see the Lord For my eyes have seen the King The Lamb upon the throne Who reigns forever That is God for you. That when he decides to come in the midst of his people, as many whose hearts are open, listen, 
some of you are not opening up yourself tonight just for your sake i want you to think about your siblings i want you to think about the people connected to you and for their sake you press with hunger and say lord for their sake for their sake for their sake place something upon my head tonight oh god of heaven place something upon my destiny tonight let it not be that i came to camp in this place and to waste my time please pray that prayer place grace genuine grace upon my head Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 24 and verse 49. The disciples were preparing for this rain. I'm telling you what I see. I still hear it. Rain is rain. Tonight the Holy Spirit wants to reveal himself as rain. Rain. Oh, 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 chapter 24 and verse 49 and behold I send the promise of my father upon you he said but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem I have taught you but do not move yet until ye be endued with power from on high tarry ye until ye be endued with power from on high tarry ye until ye be endued with power from on high luke 1 34 luke chapter 1 and verse 34 the angel brought a very disturbing news to a young virgin called mary and he said she was going to be with child and without the participation of a man and Mary asked a question that some of you are asking tonight how shall these things be how shall I suddenly carry the healing anointing how shall this curse and this yoke upon my life be broken how shall these things be seeing that I know not a man Gabriel gives the answer in verse 35 give it to us the angel answered and said unto her the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee and the power of the highest shall overshadow you every time you ask how shall it be that is the answer the Holy Ghost shall come upon you how shall my business expand the Holy Ghost as rain shall come upon you how shall ministry begin to make progress the Holy Ghost shall come upon you and the power of the highest shall overshadow you 
the power of the highest shall overshadow your campus the power of the highest shall overshadow your fellowship the power of the highest shall overshadow your church overshadow your prayer group overshadow your business overshadow your family overshadow your loved ones Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. One day the Lord opened my eyes and I saw that mantles never leave the earth. Every mantle you ever read about, every mantle you ever saw is upon the earth. According to God's design, when a body leaves in terms of a man finishing his assignment is supposed to be a relay there must be another available vessel for that mantle to rest upon that represents the continuity of God's program and so from Elijah it was supposed to go to one of the sons of the prophet but because they were not discerning and prepared it left them and went to Elisha who was not ordained to be a prophet and from Elisha he was supposed to rest upon Gehazi but because he was not a prepared vessel like Judas he wanted to make money from his master and he followed the way of Judas the temptation of Judas did not start with Judas we see that the man Gehazi was tempted the same way and yet nothing happened to him and there was no available vessel and Elijah himself for whatever reason in spite of that anointing he was sick until he died and he died with that mantle and that possibility was never experienced again can I tell you every time you study history in business it happens but in ministry I don't know why it happens there are names when you call you can call the children who are carrying that that entrepreneurial grace it's a dynasty that continues to happen it was supposed to happen that way that when an elderly man who has served the Lord is about to leave there should be someone prepared in addition to what God has given him John the Baptist came in the spirit and the power of Elijah unfortunately he manifested the spirit of Elijah but he did not manifest the power of Elijah had he manifested the power of Elijah he would not die the way he died because the same way that woman looked for Elijah that was how Herod and Herodias looked for him there was an ability he had he came in the spirit and the power of Elijah he used the spirit and ignored the power So there are mantles and there are graces there is a revisitation and God wants to come through and meet many people it's, it's like a grace that has been looking for you finally God has found you in this meeting and he wants to rest upon your life now the issue is this hear me listen to me please listen to me just because you are close to where the anointing is does not mean you will receive nobody was closer than God than the disciples and you would think they would receive 
and Judas, the son of perdition, did not even receive anything. There were other people who came to the anointed Jesus. They received a healing and they left. If the woman could touch the hem of his garment to be healed, she would have touched the hem of his garment to be imparted to. Everything your faith can do around him that is consistent with his will, he is more than willing to make happen. Tonight, there are those who want to make money from Jesus. Tonight, there are those who just want to use him as a ladder to be famous. But tonight, there are people who are saying, Lord, I have misrepresented my destiny because the power component that should rest upon my life. As a man of God, I have told people receive and I went back with guilt in my heart. You may be saying, I had to ask God, some of you may be saying, for forgiveness because I know that nothing went to the people. They just shouted amen sincerely and came back with no testimonies. It is those who are hungry and tired of their current level. The disciples prayed and prayed and prayed and they did not see anything happen. And they noticed that every time Jesus prayed, there was a result. They said, teach us to pray. There is something wrong with the way we pray. It was not prayerlessness. It was that they were praying amiss. A prayer was not effectual. It was not fervent. It did not avail much. Hallelujah. Thank you for staying to the end of this video. Thank you. We are very, very appreciative of your presence in this community. This is a community of believers. We are here to enlighten ourselves through the word of God, through practical life applicable teachings. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel. If you have not liked this video, please just take two seconds and just hit that like button and share this video with others to bless someone just as you have been blessed by this video. It is only God that can do the impossible. And when you are faced with impossibility in your life, the only place to run to, the only person to run to is God. And that is why we encourage ourselves to keep studying the word of God, to keep praying, fasting, to keep meditating on the word of God so that God will come through for us. Have a nice time. God bless you. See you in another of our video. And there are so many videos that we have posted so far. Go through our channels. Go through our channel and check on our videos and see how impactful they are going to be in your life. Thank you. God bless you. Keep shining for Jesus. Keep shining for God. Peace.